Hello everybody and welcome to another Tech Minute video. My name is Tom from Six Foot Networks. Thank you for joining me today in the office. I wanted to quickly go over a little piece of hardware that I've grown to love over the last uh, two or three years that I've been using it. And um, this piece of hardware has um, saved me a lot of uh, heartache in diagnostics and troubleshooting. So here it is. This is the temp stick. Now, these guys don't sponsor me. Uh, unfortunately, but I'd love to do business with them. So if you guys are watching, I've reached out to you. <laughs> so this little box here is what they come in. And uh, you can see that it's a Wi-Fi uh, temperature and humidity sensor. And essentially this little guy, battery powered, you literally take, you know, Velcro or something and stick it to wherever it needs to go. This one just happens to be placed uh, near my storage array. So you can kind of see, you know, during the day when I use the, can you see that? Yeah, I guess you can. The, uh, during the day when I use the appliance, it's a little warmer than it is at night. But this guy has saved me in that uh, I actually have three of these. And I don't know how I'm going to do this without revealing client information. So I'll just do it like this. You can see that there's three sensors here on this list and I can pick and choose to see charts and details of all of these, but I can see current temperature, humidity, what the dew point is, what the battery life of the, is of each sensor right here. And then behind this box is uh, the name and um, essentially the date and time that it's last checked in. And there are some interesting features that you can, you can do with this. And one of them is that, you know, I'm just going to read off the back of the box because it's cool to do. Um, but the temp stick has so many uses, and they actually say that right there. Um, vacation homes and cabins, server rooms, right? RVs, mobile homes, uh, hydroponics, food storage, medical supplies, hotels, apartments. Uh, you can prevent frozen pipes with it, I guess, to, you know, get an idea as to when temperatures will drop below zero or below freezing, I should say. Sorry, the European side of me just came out. Uh, fridges, freezers, wine cellars, uh, cigar humidors, indoor, outdoor pet houses, and so much more. So what do you get in one of these? Well, how about we open this up and we see what's inside. You already saw the sensor. This one's a brand new one. I've never opened it. And the funny part about this is once you open this, you can't get it back together. In fact, it's so hard to slide this off without ripping it. And I'm really trying hard to, to not rip it, but. <sighs> All right. How's that for making a fool of myself? Um, little box, plain box, but this is really well packaged. Like you get um, a really nifty tiny package with this and essentially let me move the one that I currently use that's already set up over there so I don't accidentally mix these two up so inside the box you get a user's guide obviously and then a little card that says leave them a review I've left them reviews these are really cool um, and then essentially you get the sensor it's wrapped up and then underneath that um, this thing comes with a little package that's got two AA Ultimate Lithium Energizer batteries and two strips of Velcro, well, uh, a pair of Velcro strips, I should say, you know, one that's positive, the other one that's negative. That's how I call them because I don't know what else they're called. And that's it. There's nothing else in the box. but. Here's where this thing shines. And let me try to put this thing back together because like I said, this is a brand new one and I opened it for this demo and I wanna make sure that, cool. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother because I know that's not gonna go on. Anyway, um, here's why I love these. Like I said, Velcro, batteries, this thing comes ready to go and the instruction guide is really well written um i think i bought this for 140 bucks 
and I have a whole bunch of these now in stock. I have uh, three over there and I currently use three of them at three different sites. I essentially, uh, part of the services that I offer is environmental monitoring and what this allows me to do is this sensor checks in and what this allows me to do is every whatever the threshold set to you can change it I have it set to 15 minutes this sensor will upload all of its data humidity and temperature related to the temp stick cloud which is the service that that you sign up for when you register one of these and what that allows you to do is there's a alert section in there that allows you to set specific alerts so if, for example your temperature goes above 80 degrees and you know that you're in a server room that has to be around 72 or 68 or somewhere in there this will do that so you get a heads up within a few minutes you know if your air conditioner has failed or otherwise is about to fail like if the, your humidity starts going up and you know there's tall there's uh uh you know there, there are signs that you can use to predict that you're going to have a failure you know of sorts and this is great because it doesn't use power so even in the in the power failure you can ultimately get your data now obviously this connects to the wireless okay that's the one thing that you have to keep in mind and that if your wi-fi goes out this can't report back um, the wi-fi is the 2.4 gigahertz range so you have to have a um, you know kind of a legacy band available for it and what I usually do is I typically put a small you know Apple the, the little uh, airport base stations that they used to sell I had a whole bunch of them and they all run on 2.4 gigahertz perfect thing and then you just bridge that to your network uh, set up a, a hidden SSID for this to use and this will be able to get out to the internet and what's great about this is you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, having somebody to go in every day and check the servers, check the temperatures and, and so on and so forth, because this will do it for you, at least in terms of temperature and, and humidity. You know, if temperature is too high and somebody goes in there, by then it might be too late. Your servers are screaming, alarms are beeping, but the server room's pretty much sealed, right? So if you're dealing with a data center that essentially has noise isolation or any of that you're not going to hear ups's beep you're not going to hear any of the conditions that you need to worry about unless you're sitting in there all day all night so this essentially gives you that peace of mind because this will get that notification out of the room assuming there's internet and it can do so so like i said you know it's about 140 bucks and they have sales every once in a while that go on but um Oh, I feel the need to point out one of the things I learned, um, and I'll show you this. Batteries go in here. Um, you can see that I have standard Duracell batteries in here. These are fine for when you're dealing with um, non-extreme temperatures, so either extremely hot or extremely cold. They do come with ultimate lithiums, and the reason for that is because if you stick this in a the freezer, these batteries will stop performing. The lithium ones will continue to work, um, at least to, you know, barely below freezing. Not like if you put this in, you know, negative 40 degrees, it's still going to work with either battery. I don't know what the limit is, and I'm trying to see if they say it, but they don't. Good thing about this is, so this is made by a company called Ideal Sciences. Their, their motto is Smart Sensor Technology, and... I think they come in multiple colors too. I think they have a white one. Um, I get the black one because it kind of blends with, you know, every piece of gear that I have. Um, they're made in the U.S. and their support's really good. It's not 24/7 by any means of the the word. So if you have any issues, make sure you get them during the day. Oh, check this out right here on the front. Let me see if I can get the glare off the the paper. So. Track temperatures from negative 40 degrees to positive 140 degrees. Uh, humidity from zero to 100 uh, relative humidity. Um, try not to put this any place where there's condensing humidity because this is a piece of electronic device and you will probably destroy it in one way or another. Anyway, 
this is the temperature stick or the temp stick as it's called and it's a cloud-based you know temperature humidity you know monitoring probe that you can stick anywhere inside a server room or um, some kind of a closet if you're worried about like I said I read off the list um, there's a ton of uses for these but it helps you get an idea as to what's what with regards to your environment so not sponsored uh, I wish they were because this is a really good product really great um, you know tiny you know package for what it's worth and the cost um, I, I don't know god I can tell you that that $140 that I spent on this probably saved our clients two or three times when the air conditioner died um, we got alerts from this I think we've hit 97 degrees before we were able to respond to a uh, air conditioning failure but yeah so one of the things that this will do and I'll tell you real quick is that you can set alarms with this so you get this, like I said, this app is full featured, but you can see that you can create a new alert and set your parameters and thresholds. You can put in an email address or you can put in a phone number. And I use the text messaging because it's just much easier. Uh, and you can actually edit the text of the message. So if you have uh, client contacts in here, like say your resident engineer or whatnot, who's on site, uh, you could easily send them a text message saying, hey, your stuff's on fire. And it makes you look good because you're, you know, tens of miles away or whatever, 50, 60 miles away. And the person sitting in the same building as the disaster that's about to happen doesn't even know what's happening because there's, um, you know, the room's sealed and they, they don't go in there every day. So anyway, if this, uh, you know, attempt stick helps you out, let us know in the comments if you already have one of these. It'd be great to know what your use case is. So drop us a line down below and let us know. And if the folks at Tempstick are, are watching this, then uh, you know please feel free to reach out. Uh, you know, see if we can form a partnership because I'd love to put your your hardware into many many places. Like I said, I have three in play right now. This one's the fourth one, and I have a brand new one here. So so at least five of them. In the meantime, uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, give us a like. If you really like this video and you got something out of it, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps us grow and create more content like this for you each and every day. In the meantime, good luck and thank you for watching.